In this video, we will be studying about the types of goods. This is a topic of your national income and its measurement unit. That is the first unit of your macroeconomics. So let's understand what are the various types of goods. Number one is your final goods. Number two are your intermediate goods. Number three are your consumer or consumption goods. Number four are your capital goods. And we can also divide it into two parts your tangible. and intangible goods your intangible goods are for the classified called as services your tangible goods are the goods that can be seen and touched which you can see the crossing the boundaries which you can see the use intangible goods are the services that you cannot see or touch but you can feel the services so in this way your types of goods are divided into four parts first we will understand your final goods see what are your final goods that are ready to consume means no further processing is required on a particular good and they are ready to consume let's say a refrigerator A refrigerator which is fully packed in the carton the, its packaging is done it is properly packed and it is uh, like full no further production has to be carried out on it so that is a final good which have crossed the boundary line of production the good that has gone through all the levels of production it it, it has crossed all the boundary line of production and are ready to use by the final users they are ready to consume right who can be a final users can be consumers or can be producers itself let's say there is a producer of aerated drinks right they require refrigerators so if they are purchasing the refrigerator so they are the final consumers if consumer if you or me are purchasing those who are not doing any kind of further processing on it then we are the consumers so final goods are the goods that are ready to consume now next comes your intermediate goods now what are your intermediate goods See, intermediate goods are those goods which have not crossed the boundary line of production. Value is still to be added to these goods and these goods are yet not ready for use by the final users. Let's say you have purchased a cotton. Cotton yarn you have purchased. So this is your intermediate good. As you will be, you are a sh shirt manufacturing company. So you are purchasing cotton yarn. So what you'll do, you'll do some processing on the cotton yarn. Some product, a processing will be done. That will, that is the production activities. Then you will get shirt out of it. So this cotton yarn is your intermediate good, and the shirt which is ready to sell in the market is your final good.
and now if let's say these shirts are purchased let's say for white color all the shirts that are produced are of white color so there is a company a dyeing company they purchase shirt from this company this producer so they have produ uh, purchased white shirt for them the shirt is an intermediate good they will be doing processing and further they will give the final good that are the colored shirts so colored shirt for them are the final goods so the actual difference between your intermediate and final goods are if there is a good on which the further production activities are to be carried out or some further uh, process is to be carried out in order to make them the final good in that case these are the intermediate goods and the final goods are the goods which are ready to use so a product can either be final good or the intermediate good but it depends on the use like for why a person is buying that particular product they are buying the shirt to carry out some process some production process and to give something new so for them the shirt is intermediate but for these shirt is the final good they are producing they are selling the shirt so this is for final consumption this is the good they have produced no nothing more production process is carried out so for them the shirt is a final good so the end use of a product tells you that whether this good is a final good or an intermediate good let us study the distinction between your intermediate goods and the final goods while calculating your national income see national income is an income which is earned by your nation which is earned by your country in the current financial year so income earned by the country in the current financial Yeah. Right. So, see, there is a shirt. So there is a cloth of rupees two thousand that is purchased as raw material by a firm, shirt manufacturing firm. Right. So they have purchased a cloth which is a raw material to them and we can call it as an intermediate good. They have purchased and they have carried out some uh, production process on it and they have manufactured shirt out of it. And they are selling the shirt, the selling price of shirt, shirts is rupees 5000. Cloth was bought for two thousand, and your selling price is five thousand. So while calculating your national income, you will cal uh, consider the value of rupees five thousand only, because if you are selling a shirt of rupees five thousand, which means you have included the value of rupees two thousand in it. And the rest three thousand is your cost of production and your profit part, right? So your two thousand is already being including in, included in the five thousand. So in case of calculating your national income, you will consider rupees five thousand. Now let's see if you consider while calculating your national income, if you consider once two thousand and then five thousand. Then your national income is rupees seven thousand. This is double count. You have counted the value of cloth twice. Twenty-five thousand 
2000 here and 2000 which is included here so in order to avoid avoid this we only calculate the value additions value addition this was cloth was rupees 2000 the value added to the actual value is 5000 but from 2000 to reach 5000 the value addition is of 3000 so your national income becomes rupees 5000 so we calculate only value additions while calculating your national income so this is the difference main difference between your intermediate goods and the final goods i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us